Now, you tell one lie, and it kind of leads to others. And most Baptists have not, not ever preached a lot of the junk that's in this book. But in order to try to hang on, now that it's being challenged, many Baptists are trying to hang on to the, you know, the pre-trib, pro-Jew teaching that is very famous. And in order to do that, now they're being challenged, they have had to turn to this book and they're buying into, lot, I mean, big lies. You can say maybe those first ones aren't that big of a deal. All right, I'll give you that. Those aren't that big of a deal. But the ones that it's leading to in trying to hang on to those false doctrines are dangerous. And one of them is being taught. And I have heard this preached in Baptist churches. And that is that there are more than one gospel. There are four gospels. And I don't believe in four gospels unless you're talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I believe in those four gospels. But guess what? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they're all teaching one gospel. And right here in this book, I can show you he's got the charts. He mentions four gospels that are taught in the Bible. And I'm telling you, that is dangerous teaching. And that is so easy to prove wrong that it's not even funny. I'm going to show you a lot of, script, a lot of scripture on this. I want to try to get through it quickly. But here's the, what the four gospels are. What are these gospels? Well, one is the gospel of the kingdom. This is the gospel that Jesus, John the Baptist, and the disciples preached. But it ended when the Jews rejected their Messiah. But it will be preached again after the rapture and during the tribulation. And they get that because in Matthew chapter, you know, you see in the gospels, talking about preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And then in Matthew 24, when it starts talking about the tribulation, it says in verse, thir um, it, uh, in verse 13, it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So right there, the gospel of the kingdom is going to get preached again during the tribulation. Why? Because the gospel of the kingdom is not for you. It's for the Jews. And the way you get saved in the tribulation, it's not by grace through faith. You can't take the mark. You've got to endure to the end to be saved. Well, that is faith plus works. And it has never been about faith plus works. And it never will be faith plus works. And say, so, well, what does that mean? It says he that shall endure the end shall be saved. We have to endure the end to be saved. And that's just a fact in the dispensational world. You have to endure the end to be saved during the tribulation. Well, there's more than one kind of salvation. There is your soul salvation. And there's physical salvation. You could receive salvation from a fireman. Some of you maybe have received salvation from a doctor. Okay? There's physical salvation. And look what it says in verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know what that's saying? If the tribulation just kept going, everyone would be killed. And everyone would die. But for the elect's sake, those days are shortened. And so, in other words, if you can survive until the end of the tribulation, you'll be saved physically. How will you get saved physically? You're getting raptured out of here. That's what that means. That's a physical salvation, not a spiritual salvation. And so just... It's, and that's very obvious right there when you just read the rest of the scriptures. But they, they jump on that. And so that's the gospel of the kingdom. Now, uh, uh, come on down, verse 14. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The gospel of the kingdom... Hey, I got news for you. The gospel of the kingdom is not the gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection of Amen. Jesus Christ Amen. in the scriptures. The gospel of the kingdom is the promise of God, that Abrahamic covenant given to the right. Jews as far as the establishment of a literal, physical, Davidic kingdom Amen. with the Messiah reigning on the throne of David. Right. That's the gospel of the kingdom. That's right. Amen. That don't apply to you any more than a hill of beans. Exactly right. Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, Anderson, does that apply to you? Are you having to endure to the end so you can be saved? 
I'm not having to endure to the Amen. end for myself to be saved. Right. But whoever is in that time period, in that tribulation period, they are having to endure to the right. end Amen. to be saved. And if they lose faith and take the mark of the beast, they're going to die and go to hell. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. You better endure to the end if you find yourself in the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. 